test, we're comparing three wireless microphones specifically for range. Now, the three mics that we're testing are dramatically different in all aspects, including price. At the top end, we have the Sennheiser EW100. This is an industry standard microphone. You're gonna find this mic everywhere. It works really well, it's rock solid, everybody trusts it, and it's $800. Now that is actually not that bad when you get into some of the really high-end mics, but for the vast majority of users, 800 is just too much for a wireless pack. The next microphone is the KNF Concept M8. This is a dramatically less expensive microphone. At only $150, it's a pretty attractive price point. It is a UHF microphone, just like the Sennheiser, so it's operating around the same frequency, and as you're gonna hear, it actually sounds very, very good. Now, the range on that mic is not stated in the specs, so we're gonna find out in this test just what it can do. The third microphone is the GoMic Mobile Pro from Samson. Now, this microphone's a little bit different in a lot of different ways. First of all, the price point is $250. Second, this is a digital microphone. It's operating on a very different frequency, and one of the common problems with digital mics is they have to be line of sight. Now, when I first looked at this microphone, the company said, well, you shouldn't have the line of sight issues that you do with traditional digital microphones, but as you're gonna see here, that may not actually be the case. Now, their claim is 100 foot range, line of sight, and they do say specifically line of sight on the box. Now, this is something that we're gonna test in this test here. So, let's get started and see how the mics perform. It's time for a real world distance test. I'm going to walk a considerable distance and we're gonna find out which of these three microphones can handle it. We're gonna find out as I walk down, turn around, put the microphone packs behind my body, in front of my body and so on, we'll find out what we can do. So let's just take a look at the setup here real quick. I'm recording all this on a GH5 of course. However, the audio is not going into the GH5. The audio is going into this Tascam recorder. Let's go around to the other side and take a closer look at what's happening here. On the right, we've got the KNF Concept M8 microphone. Over here on the left, we have the heavyweight hitter, the Sennheiser pack. And of course, on top, as you saw earlier, there is the Samson microphone. Now, all three of these are routing into the Tascam. You'll see that the Sennheiser microphone and the KNF microphone are going into the XLR ports. However, they're going through a mini jack converter. While the Sennheiser does have an XLR adapter, the KNF does not, so I chose to go ahead and modify them both the same way and putting them on these simple eighth inch to XLR converters. And then the Samson microphone up here simply has a mini jack eighth inch out and that is going into the third slash fourth microphone port on the Tascam. If we take a look at the Tascam, you can see the levels that we're getting right now. And you can see that as I'm talking, they're all relatively even. I'm gonna turn this microphone rig around pointing it at the background here. And we'll zoom in just a little bit. And you can see quite a bit of range there that I've got. Now my first 25 foot mark might be in the shade, so forgive that, but you know, finding one spot long enough, you get it. Anyway, let's give it a shot. I got about 10 paces of mine or roughly 25 feet. So that's what we're gonna base this on. You ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we're calling this 25 feet. This is the first range, so we're hearing the three different microphones now. As I'm talking, I'm switching through the mics, and of course, somewhere down here, you're seeing which microphone you're actually listening to right now. Now, one of the important differences here is that I have microphones on my back, which means they are no longer line of sight. Some microphones handle that really well, some of them don't. I'm gonna turn around and see if there's any difference now as we're listening to all three of these microphones. Are we getting any more or any less dropout? And as we go back again, it should be as good as it was before. Now, one of the important differences here is that I have microphones on my back, which means they are no longer line of sight. Some microphones handle that really well, some of them don't. I'm gonna turn around and see if there's any difference now as we're listening to all three of these microphones. Are we getting any more or any less dropout? And as we go back again, it should be as good as it was before. Now, one of the important differences here is that I have microphones on my back, which means they are no longer line of sight. Some microphones handle that really well, some of them don't. I'm gonna turn around and see if there's any difference now as we're listening to all three of these microphones. Are we getting any more or any less dropout? And as we go back, it should be as good as it was before. Let's turn around and do another 10 paces. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So now we're about 50 feet away. 50 feet, I'm getting a little bit of sunshine here. And with any luck, the microphones are still holding tight. Most microphones advertise uh, 100, 200 foot range. You have to look at the box and see what it says, but each one of these microphones should be able to handle this type of range. 50 feet, I'm getting a little bit of sunshine here. And with any luck, the microphones are still holding tight. Most microphones advertise uh, 100, 200 foot range. You have to look at the box and see what it says, but each one of these microphones should be able to handle this type of range. 50 feet. 
luck. Advertise range. You have to look at the box and see what it says, but each one of these microphones should be able to handle this type of range. So let's go ahead and turn around, take the packs back towards the microphone again. So now if there's any difference there, if we're getting any dropouts at this position, hopefully we are not getting those dropouts at this position. And let's go another 25 feet through three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. I might've missed up one of those, but we'll live. All right, so now we are about 75 feet away. Again, measurements, not so accurate perhaps, but it's good enough. Are all three microphones still sounding good and holding up? Are all three microphones still sounding good and holding up? Still sounding good and holding up. And you might be noticing a little bit of wind noise. There is a bit of wind back here. And you may have noticed earlier as well that I have each microphone set up essentially as it comes out of the box. The Sennheiser is the only one that does not come with a little foam shield on it at all. Uh, however, the other ones do, so I went ahead and left. The Sennheiser is the only one that does not come with a little foam shield on it at all. Uh, however, the other ones do, so I went ahead and left. The Sennheiser is the only one that does not come with a little foam shield on it at all. Uh, however, the other ones do, so I went ahead and left them on there. They felt really quite naked without it on there, whereas the Sennheiser really does feel like it's meant to be used in its native way. So let's see what we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So now we are at a hundred, roughly a hundred foot distance from the camera, from the microphone sources, or rather uh, receivers as I spin and walk and talk. Are we getting any kind of differences here? Here, just in case you can't see me, because I'm really far away, I'm facing the camera, and now I'm gonna go ahead and turn around and face away from the camera. Roughly 100 foot distance from the camera, from the microphone sources, or rather uh, receivers, as I spin, walk and talk. Are we getting any kind of differences here? Here, just in case you can't see me, because I'm really far away, I'm facing the camera, and now I'm gonna go ahead and turn around and face away from the camera. as I spin and walk and talk. Are we getting any kind of differences here? Turn around and face away from the camera. Now my body is blocking some of the wind now, so we might be getting a bit less wind noise, but of course that's not what we're measuring here. What we're really measuring here is the potential dropouts at distance. Let's go for another. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So now we're at roughly 125 feet away. This is a pretty good range. I mean, let's be honest here, you'd have to have a pretty long lens to be shooting an interview from this far away. So now we're at roughly 125 feet away. This is a pretty good range. I mean, from this far away. So now we're at roughly 125 feet away. This is a pretty good range. I mean, let's be honest here, to have a pretty long lens to be shooting an interview from this far away. But just because we can, I'm gonna go all the way across the street. Now, if you don't see any of that video, that's because none of the microphones reached that far and it wasn't worth doing. If you don't see any of that video, that's because none of the microphones reached that far and it wasn't worth doing. Now, if you don't see any of that video, that's because none of the microphones reached that far. So, let's turn this around and go again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna go again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now I'm doing what mom always said not to do, standing in the middle of the street. Let's make this quick. So here we are. I can't even see the camera. The sun's in my eyes. It's somewhere there in the shadows. I'm facing the camera now. Let's turn away from the camera here and see what we're getting. Turning away from the camera so the microphone packs are directly facing the receivers, and we'll hopefully see if any of those are still able to pick this up. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna take one more step and get on the curb here. So there we have it. That is now, we had 150 feet, we had 175. I've lost count. It's either 150 or 175, I think it's 150. Either way, we've got some pretty serious range here going on. Let's turn that around, put those microphone packs back towards the camera, see if that makes any difference at all. Turn back around again and off we go. So that's about it. Let's turn that around, put those microphone packs back towards the camera, see if that makes any difference at all. Turn back around again and off we go. So that's about it. Let's turn that around, put those microphone packs back towards the camera, see if that makes any difference at all. Turn back around again, and off we go. Now it's time to hustle across the street because cars are coming and find out how this turned out. It's always nice when the air conditioner suddenly turns off in the middle of a recording. No, that doesn't change my background noise at all. Now let's go inside and see what we got.
What did you guys think? Now, your opinion is what matters the most here, and I want to hear your opinion in the comments down below. So be sure to share your thoughts on this and what mic you would buy, if any of these. Let's start with the Samson. Now, the Samson started popping and dropping out at just 25 feet. Now, to be fair, it was on my back at 25 feet when it started dropping out, and again, the box does say line of sight. Now, that may or may not be a problem depending on the type of work you're doing. If you're doing something like an interview where it's head and shoulders, well, if it's on the front of the body, it's going to be out of the shot anyway. It doesn't matter. That's perfectly fine. Of course, if you want your subjects to be able to walk around, you want them to be able to hide the mic pack, it might be a little bit more of an issue. You may be able to hide it on the front of the belt under a shirt. That might work as well. But usually the common placement is to put these things on the back. And as we saw, that didn't work out so well with the Samson. But again, that may not be your use case, in which case it could be a great option. Now, one of the other advantages of the Samson is that it has accessories to attach directly to your smartphone. Whether you're shooting with an iPhone or an Android device, you can connect the receiver via lightning or USB directly into your microphone. That's pretty attractive. And I'm actually going to do some more tests on that later on, showing how that mic performs in that type of an environment. Next up, we had the KNF. Now, the KNF popped only once at 25 feet. And that just could have been a fluke or an anomaly. But it was fine up until about 50 feet. Even on the back, it worked quite well. Once we got past that, though, it really started to fall apart in a quite spectacular way. But again, if you need a wireless pack in limited range, 25 to 50 feet, it will allow you to put that on your back. And at $150, it's hard to go wrong for that. Finally, the Sennheiser. Of course, the Sennheiser held the entire way through. We weren't anywhere near the limit of its range. We heard one glitch on there. And again, you know that could be up to anything, but one glitch we heard. So I think that might perform quite well. Now, one of the things that I want to point out, if you were listening to the sound quality of the microphones, I have to tell you, I was pretty impressed. I did not expect the lesser mics, the lesser costing mics, to sound as good as the Sennheiser. But there were times where I switched from the KNF to the Sennheiser or from the Samson to the Sennheiser, where you could barely, if at all, tell that I'd switched microphones. So for the price point, these are all great mics. As long as they perform in a way that's going to work for you, then I think they're all pretty good buys. But again, I want to hear what you think down in the comments.